Hi everyone, this is Adam Noyce. I'm a video production specialist and today I'm going to show you how you can color match your Bird Dog PF120 box camera with your Bird Dog P100 PTZ camera. And I want to show you just how easy it is. This is our P100 PTZ camera set to the way that we want it, specifically for our layout here today. Here's our PF120. As you can see, it's a bit different from the P100. So we're going to adjust the camera's color settings to better match our P100. Now in order for us to start color matching our cameras, we need to access Bird Dog's color matrix, which can be found via their web UI. Now in order to get to the web UI, you need to know two things. You need to know uh, your camera's IP address, and you also need to make sure that your computer and your camera are on the same network. Once you have those two things, you're ready to go. All right, so now I'm going to head on over to our UI. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our AV settings right here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to exposure. And as you can see right now, we're on full auto for the PF120. I want to go into manual. Let's make sure that the settings here are good. So we're shooting at 60 frames per second, so the shutter speed is fine. You usually want that to be roughly double. Um, what your frames per second is. You always want this to be double, so that's fine. The iris is okay. Let me bring it up a little. Now, I'll leave it there. And the gain, you want to try to leave that as low as possible. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave it there. So let's go over to white balance. That's clearly where this is going a little bit different. So right now we have it set to one of the presets. It's on indoors. So what I want to do is I want to go into manual and already we're seeing a significant uh, similarity. Yeah, right about there. Right about there I'd say that's pretty good. All right, so now let's go over to picture. Let's see if our sharpness. You see right now I have our noise reduction cranked way up because I'm in a bit of a low light situation here. Something you'll immediately notice if you use noise reduction, it softens the image a lot. What I like about this UI is that there is a sharpness setting, so you can really crank that if you absolutely need it. Like I just cranked it and that kind of looks ridiculous, but if I bring it all the way down, Look how soft that image is. And that's because I have my noise reduction cranked all the way up. So I'm going to put it somewhere around here. And uh, yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. Now, color matrix is the area that I really like that Bird Docs has that is really interesting because you get to really control your colors a lot. Now, if you ask me, you'll notice that there is red around this area here that isn't within our P100 image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red gain. I'm going to crank it for a moment to see if that's the right spot. It is. So I'm going to just minimize it a little bit. So there, after playing around with some of the settings just a little bit more, look how close these two look. They look extremely close. And again, that's because of the wonderful Sony sensor that's within these cameras. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say job well done. So it's pretty easy to play with these cameras and color match them. Now the key is unfortunately, as you can kind of see here, it's not like they have presets and you can use those presets. But if you really want to get into the fine tuning of it, it's different with every production. Uh, you go from one location to another and you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Unfortunately, it's not just set it and forget it. The, tip that I have to you is just play around with it, you know, crank it to the 10th notch and really make it look insane and then scale it down from there. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to really uh, match the color from your Bird Dog PF120 box camera with that of your Bird Dog P100 PTZ camera. Super simple and easy to do. So I showed you how to color match your different cameras. And I hope you enjoyed. And in the end, this is Adam Noyce, a video production specialist, saying sayonara.